Okay guys, today we're going to be talking about a couple pocket knives that are a lot tougher than you might think. So without any further ado, please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe. Check out the Patreon and Instagram down in the description below. And let's talk about a couple of pocket knives that are more durable than you might think. Now, I have to say, this video was partly inspired by the video that I did on my little Microtech Ultratech and kind of putting it through some survival work, really batoning the heck out of this knife. And I thought, you know, what knives out there, what, what pocket knives out there exist that are surprisingly tougher than you might think. And oftentimes when we think of pocket knives, we think of knives that are, you know, maybe easy to use, definitely easy to carry and, uh, you know, Generally, we don't associate toughness or durability or strength with these types of knives, but there really are a few knives out there from a handful of makers that are pocket knives, and this one's a little bit different because it's not exactly a folder, but some are folders like this one, and some are just pocket knives like this little OTF from Microtech that are actually really strong. And so I thought today I would talk about these two knives and roll in some use footage of me actually, you know, batoning them, doing survival tasks, starting fires you know and really showing you guys not just saying hey these guys or hey these knives are tough but uh you know these these knives actually are really tough so the first one of course like i said is the microtech ultra tech and i think a lot of people don't necessarily think about otfs uh as you know wilderness outdoor or survival knives primarily because they are not the most uh legal knives to carry around the world and even stateside uh luckily i live in alaska so otfs like this are are completely legal for people like myself to use, to own, and to carry. And so these knives are a little bit more attainable for someone like myself. And for people like myself, uh, they are actually very durable. And the primary reason why that is, is because these blades actually have a good amount of tang behind the uh, behind the handle and they also don't fold there's no you know mechanism that makes this rotate so when you go to hit on it from the top not saying it's the greatest thing to do for an otf you want to make sure it is a quality otf something like a microtech or a benchmade uh, but when you do hit on it baton on it uh, essentially that blade tang is locked into this aluminum handle and so this knife uh similar so this knife has, you know, a good amount of tang that's actually locked into an aluminum handle. And so when you think about, you know, maybe like a Mora or, you know, some other knives that maybe not or maybe not the most durable or the best full tang blades usually they have like plastic or wood handles that a rat tail tang is in and so i think part of the durability of these knives is that you have a good solid alloy aluminum that your blade is locked into so when you do strike it uh, you are really locked in uh, to a solid amount of blade now this one of course has been used and abused it still fires very well and uh, overall there's no problems with it now the blade length itself and you know the grind or the bevel itself might not be the best for survival or for bushcrafting or wilderness purposes but the fact of the matter is it's a surprisingly tanky knife and if you did find yourself in a situation where you're like oh goodness i gotta you know make a fire real quick or i gotta do something like that the uh this little OTF actually can do it. It can even strike ferro rods off the back of its spine. Once again, it's not the best, it's not the easiest. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for solving all your problems, but in a pinch, uh, this is a pocket knife that is probably surprisingly tougher than you thought it would be. So that's the first one, the Microtech Ultra Tech. And of course, if you were gonna run one, I'd probably recommend running one like this that has a plain single edge. There are, of course, double-edged daggers. I have one, but uh, probably not the best for survival. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so the next one is gonna be the Cold Steel 4MAX Scout. And this one is uh, a part of Cold Steel's kind of triad lock lineup of blades. Now, they make many different knives in this kind of lineup of course you have like the larger spartan and the spada and those ones are quite large and tanky and probably not the most realistic to actually carry but knives like the Formax scout knives like the recon recon tanto um, are actually knives that are not too unrealistic to carry in your pocket and are surprisingly tough due to the fact of this triad lock and the triad lock is kind of like a lock back but on steroids so not only is it substantially thicker than a normal lockback so it also has a pin that it locks into in the back and 
that uh, kind of system where the spine of the blade locks into this pin and locks into everything really makes this super, super stout. And as you guys can see, I batoned it real quick. I've actually been using, hard using the heck out of this knife and it continues to really impress me. And I think really the only limitations on this lock are the size of the blade. Other thing you do have to keep in mind too, the thumb studs are a little bit big and you can get hung up on them. However, if you are exclusively using this knife like outdoors and batoning and stuff it is very easy it's just a flathead screw to unscrew these thumb studs and then you would not have the thumb studs getting in the way so bear in mind that the thumb studs are easy enough to remove and if you are going to be hard using the knife more specifically i'd say probably get rid of the thumb studs and just go to like a two-handed opening of this knife thumb studs are really just there so that you can kind of uh, one hand swing this thing open. We'll say too, you probably have to swing it open, especially with the four max, because it's so big, it's hard to actually properly open it with just the thumb studs. I usually just kind of flick it out once I get it going. Anyways, like I said, the four max is surprisingly tougher than you would think. And honestly, uh, while I wouldn't say that this is stronger than a fixed blade, I would say that this knife, kind of how I've talked about uh, non-full tang fixed blades in the past, is realistically strong enough to be a fixed blade. And like I said, what I mean by that is, sure, if you go take this and put it up against a fixed blade and just straight put pounds on the spine, a full tang fixed blade will probably be stronger than this. But realistically, when doing tasks like batoning, when doing tasks like uh, hard, any hard use tasks, prying, lateral movement and such, uh, this knife is strong enough to take realistic use. Of course, once again, if you're trying to take it to its upper limits, if you're trying to get it to fail, you'll probably get it to fail, but it takes a lot of, uh, it takes a lot of weight and it takes a lot of pressure and strength to do that. And I think within reason, as you guys can see here, you know, if you were just trying to baton some wood to get down to some fresh dry wood to feather stick and make into a fire, this knife's gonna have absolutely no problems doing that. And it will more than exceed it. In addition to, if you did want additional strength, uh, I believe this hole right here might be kind of hard to see on camera, but I'll do a close up. There's a hole right here by the finger guard that you can put a pin in if I remember correctly. And that just gives you extra strength so that the blade cannot come back down, but could be wrong on that one. But if I remember correctly, that's what that hole is for. But uh, yeah, either way, this knife is incredibly strong and uh, definitely no slouch from either of these knives. And you wouldn't necessarily expect it. Like I said, they're kind of, you know, run of the mill, um, pocket knives that you would find and once again like this uh microtech is one that like i every day carry quite frequently and uh yeah it's a quite strong knife for heavy and hard use so definitely bear that in mind uh you know that there are quite a few folders out there and pocket knives that might actually be stronger than you think or are much tougher than you expect Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video and kind of the breakdown of these two knives. Uh, it's fun to just hard use knives that you don't necessarily think would be so good that actually are. So anyways, guys, as always, God bless and I'm out.